All right, the last video I have to record for this quiz is independent events to events. So what they tell us here is events A and B are independent. So I'll start by going A and B. All right. A occurs with a probability of 0.39. So P of A equals 0.39. Event B occurs with a probability of 0.69, so P of B equals 0.69. Therefore, since they're independent, we know that P of A intersect B equals 0.39 times 0.69. And that is what goes in there. All right. Find the probability that A occurs, but B does not occur. On all these problems, it's beneficial to translate the sentence into symbolic notation. So they want you to find P of A occurring and not. Remember, but is the same as and. And B not occurring. Well, if you remember, that's region 1. Okay? So they just want this region over here. How do I figure that out? Well, I take region... 1 and 2 and I subtract region 2. P of A is regions 1 and 2 and so to get this result over here I'm gonna take 0.39 and subtract 0.39 times 0.69 pretty simple. Next they want us to compute the probability that A occurs or B does not occur. So translating that they want probability of A occurring or B not occurring. So that one is going to be a little more involved. So let me take this one out of the way by putting it into Alex. 0.39 minus 0.39 times 0.69. 0.39 minus 0.39 times 0.69. Enter. 0.1. Okay, now that's in there. So I can go back here and I can figure out this other one. This one's actually not um, very difficult either. But it helps to have a fresh uh, slate. So we know P of A. A includes this whole region, right? That's A. It's everything in that circle. Not B is everything that's not in B. So I'm going to go like this. Not B is everything not in B. So, when it says to unite them, I'm going to put them together. I'm not looking for their overlap. That's what I found in the previous problem. I'm looking to put them together. And when I put them both together, when I put together this, including that, with the green, notice that all that is, the only thing that's not covered in is this little region over here. Okay? So, there's a couple different ways you can figure this out. You can... What's the easiest way? Well, I think the easiest way is to understand that this right here is equivalent to... Let me write this. P of A union not B is equivalent to 1 minus... P of B intersect A complement. Okay? Because look at the only thing I haven't colored in. The only thing I haven't colored in is this region right here, which, well, now I've colored it in a little, but we understand that region is that. So, if we're talking everything but that, it's 1 minus that result. How do we get this result? We go... Let's see, 
point six nine because that's B minus um, point three nine times point six nine. And do you get that? I mean, just make sure you understand that this this point six nine is P of B. The point three nine times point six nine is the probability of their intersection. So let me just erase now. If I'm interested in this area here, notice this area here, let me draw it in. This area here is equal to all of B minus this piece here. Well, all of B is this thing, and the green piece there, the biscuit, is the intersection. So I minus that out. Once I figure out what um, this thing is, then I can subtract that from 1. So it's a little involved. Um, but it's not terrible. So it's 1. Let me write it one more time. It's 1 minus 0.69 and since we can distribute the negative I can write that as plus 0.39 times 0.69 and then I can leave out the parentheses. So that's what I'm going to put into Alex. Here we go. Go on to Alex. Let's see it was up in here, we're going to do 1 minus B. B was 0.69, and then we're doing plus 0.39 times 0.69. Enter. Hopefully that's right. Hopefully I didn't lose myself anywhere along the way. We'll find out. Very good, I seem to have mastered it. Woohoo! One more.